Studio Ghibli has something for everyone, whether it's a fantastical adventure, drama, or romance. In celebration of this vast collection of animated works, here is a ranking of all of Ghibli's feature-length films from worst to best. Tales from Earthsea follows an exiled prince and a wandering wizard as they navigate a fantasy world. While some scenes in the film look absolutely gorgeous, the overall visual quality of the film lacks consistency. The film still looks like a Studio Ghibli film, but it lacks the sense of life that characterizes other films from the famous animation studio. In addition, the plot incorporates elements from several of the Earthsea books and suffers as a result. Tales from Earthsea feels at once bloated with plot points and characters while also starved of depth since there's not enough time to explore each concept. The sprawling plot and the shallow character motivations all end up making Tales from Earthsea the weakest Studio Ghibli film by far. My Neighbors the Yamadas is a comedy in the style of a Japanese comic strip. The film is a compilation of stories following members of the Yamada family. In each segment, different issues are explored, like disputes between the married couple and the various relationships of the family members. Though My Neighbors the Yamadas is an inoffensive and entertaining watch, the film simply pales in comparison to other Studio Ghibli titles. It's definitely not the most impressive entry in the studio's long history, but My Neighbors the Yamadas is a cute film with comedic elements that many viewers are bound to enjoy. From Up on Poppy Hill follows Umi Matsuzaki, a high school student in the port city of Yokohama. Each morning outside of the boarding house where she lives, Umi raises a series of signal flags in honor of her father, who died during the Korean War. One day, she meets a boy who wrote about her flags in his student newspaper, and the two set about renovating the building where the school clubs are supposed to be held. The pair begin to fall for each other as they continue working on the renovation, even after the school board decides to demolish the building. The setting is perhaps where the film shines the brightest. While the city of Yokohama isn't a fantastical setting for a film, the film nearly makes it seem fantastical by paying special attention to the time period. The story takes place in 1963, as the nation gets ready to host the 1964 Olympic Games, and the little touches throughout the film help to ground the story in a specific time and place. From Up on Poppy Hill isn't a bad film overall, but the film's mundane setting and somewhat predictable plot weaken the experience. It's not a young kid story, it's not a magical story like, say, Ponyo. But there's a beauty to it that's brought by the fact that it's animated. Porco Rosso follows a former Italian fighter pilot who's cursed to look like an anthropomorphic pig. After the First World War, Porco makes it his duty to hunt down air pirates who use their planes to wreak havoc on honest people. But when a young pirate shoots his aircraft down, Porco has to make a dangerous journey to his mechanic so he can repair his plane. Porco Rosso is a light-hearted action film that goes to great lengths to show Hayao Miyazaki's admiration of early aviation. There are a lot of shots of Porco operating his plane with the use of several levers, sticks, and pedals that highlights the film's attention to detail. While the story is relatively safe, the real draw of this film is the action during the mid-air dogfights. Though not as groundbreaking as other Studio Ghibli titles, Porco Rosso still has plenty to offer as a film. The Wind Rises is a fictionalized biography of Jiro Horikoshi, a renowned Japanese airplane designer from the early 20th century. The film follows Jiro as he falls in love with his terminally ill wife and finds fulfillment in designing planes. However, throughout the film, Jiro worries about the ethics surrounding his invention, since he primarily develops them for the Japanese military. The Wind Rises centers on a prominent historical figure who many Americans have likely never heard of. While that could have been interesting on its own, the film unfortunately suffers from pacing problems that make The Wind Rises feel dragged out. Still, for history buffs and fans of aviation, The Wind Rises is likely to soar to the top of your favorite movie lists. Airplanes are beautiful dreams. Engineers turn dreams into reality. Yes! In Palm Poco, construction on the outskirts of Tokyo has led to the surrounding forest becoming drained of its natural resources. As the threat of deforestation looms, magical creatures known as tanuki take desperate measures. They begin staging elaborate hauntings to scare humans, attracting media attention, and even relying on eco-terrorism to stall construction. Palm Poco is an environmentally conscious film that aims to highlight the plight of animals rapidly losing their lands to suburban development. 
Despite some heavy-handed themes and awkward pacing, the film has plenty of fun, expressive animation that still makes Pompoko an engaging watch. Similar to The Little Mermaid, Ponyo is a cute love story about a fish girl named Ponyo who befriends Sosuke, a human boy, when she strays away from home. Ponyo is a genuinely beautiful film with amazingly creative designs, both in terms of world-building and characters. However, it suffers from slow pacing in an overly simple story. That being said, Ponyo isn't aiming for depth. The film wants to take viewers on a fantastical visual journey under the sea, and in that respect, it excels. Though it isn't perfect, Ponyo is more than worth watching for the gorgeous animation and cute childish romance between Sosuke and Ponyo. After Haru Yoshioka saves the life of a cat crossing the street, her life takes a turn for the weird when the cat turns out to be the prince of Cat Kingdom and asks for her hand in marriage. With a fantastical premise, The Cat Returns is a cute fantasy adventure that's plenty of fun to watch. Still, the film lacks the grand scope that has come to be expected from Studio Ghibli titles. Compared to the visual masterpiece of Spirited Away, which was released during the same year as The Cat Returns, the latter film is both lighter in tone and a bit less daring in terms of animation. Still, the film is definitely enjoyable on its own merits and is an overall solid flick for animation fans and cat lovers alike. Hello, Charlie Kelly here, local business owner and cat enthusiast. When Marnie Was There follows Anna, a young girl sent to live with her foster parents' family in Hokkaido due to her poor health. Anna is lonely and depressed until she meets a strangely familiar girl named Marnie, a mysterious blonde girl living in a dilapidated old house in the marshes. The true strength of when Marnie was there lies largely in its interesting female leads. Anna has trouble connecting with others and considers herself an outlier in her society. Given this, the relationship that develops between Anna and Marnie is incredibly sincere as it develops throughout, giving Anna someone that she can finally relate to. In the end, the great connection shared by the two leads, the mystery surrounding Marnie's character, and the film's impressive animation all come together to create a satisfying and relatable film. In my dreams, I saw a girl just like you. Dreams? Hmm. Howl's Moving Castle follows Sophie, a hat maker who is cursed to look like an old woman by a witch. While traveling to find a way to break the witch's spell, Sophie meets an enchanted scarecrow and seeks out Howl, a wizard who lives in a magical moving castle. Miyazaki's works are always filled with commentaries on how humans interact with nature, staying true to the creator's passion for taking care of the environment. However, Howl's moving castle also focuses on how humans interact and bond with each other. In conveying this theme, Howl's Moving Castle considers complicated topics such as war, loyalty to nations, and coming to terms with aging. The unique variety of themes combines with the now standard fare of breathtaking animation, fun characters, and plenty of humor. Altogether, it makes Howl's Moving Castle one of the most inventive Studio Ghibli films around. The Princess of the Valley of the Wind is Nausicaa an adventurous young woman who wants her people to coexist with the neighboring toxic jungle and its animal and insect inhabitants. However, the peace of the valley is put at risk when a plane from a neighboring country crashes in the valley. The plane's cargo harbors the embryo of a giant warrior, an enormous and dangerous insect that will be used to destroy the toxic jungle. Everything falls to Nausicaa to find a way to restore peace to both lands and find harmony between nature and humans. Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind is one of Hayao Miyazaki's most environmentally conscious features, and one that's clearly close to his heart. The film was created before Studio Ghibli's existence, but the success of Nausicaa is what led to the studio's creation. Without Nausicaa, it is fair to assume we may not have gotten many of the Studio Ghibli titles that we have today. Even beyond its place in the studio's history, Nausicaa is breathtakingly original, with all of the unique character designs and luscious animation that you would expect. In Whisper of the Heart, Shizuki is a student about to take her high school entrance exams. She soon meets Seiji, a talented musician who dreams of becoming a master violin maker. Seiji leaves for Italy to follow his dreams while Shizuki decides to devote herself to writing. While other Studio Ghibli films may stand out for their lush environments or their tense action scenes, Whisper of the Heart's strength is the emotional journey that Shizuki goes on throughout the film. 
Whisper of the Heart is impressive in how it tackles the creative process and the struggles of balancing creative endeavors with more traditional pursuits. The film is relatable and down-to-earth, making Whisper of the Heart one of the more uniquely mundane films from the studio. Initially released in 1993, Ocean Waves is a bit different from other Studio Ghibli titles in that it was originally produced for television. Additionally, it's the first Ghibli film not to feature Hayao Miyazaki or Isao Takahata as director. Ocean Waves tells the story of a love triangle between Taku, his best friend Yutaka, and the new exchange student Rikaku. After Taku joins Rikaku for an unexpected trip to Tokyo, tensions rise and rumors begin to develop about Rikaku and Taku's relationship. As a result, Rikaku, Taku, and Yutaka must confront the change in dynamics and the nature of their relationships with one another. For a teenage love story, the overall likable Ocean Waves is generally pretty good. Though it may not be as strong as similar Studio Ghibli films, it's a solid, engaging drama. After moving closer to their hospital-bound mother, sisters Satsuki and Mei discover a host of magical beings living in their new town. Guided by friendly dust creatures, Mei meets Totoro, a giant cat-like animal that lives in a hollow by the girl's house. Eventually, Totoro also reveals himself to Satsuki, and the sisters are introduced to the whimsical life shared by Totoro and his fantastical friends. Though the film is mostly filled with cute critters and upbeat interactions between Satsuki and her younger sister, it also has its fair share of tension. My Neighbor Totoro is wildly fun to watch, and instills a sense of childlike wonder that few other films can achieve. Considering Castle in the Sky was the first film to be produced under the name Studio Ghibli in 1986, it stands the test of time incredibly well. The story begins with Shita, a young orphan pursued by space pirates and government officials for her mysterious necklace. Shita is found and sheltered by another orphan named Pazu. The two go on a journey to uncover the secrets of Shita's necklace and its airborne origin. Castle in the Sky does a good job of setting the tone for future Studio Ghibli films in that it has a sweeping soundtrack, a mystical world filled with advanced technology, and themes surrounding humans and their relationship to nature. While better Ghibli films would come later, Castle in the Sky remains a standout in the studio's history. The secret world of Arietti film follows a family of borrowers, tiny people who scavenge or borrow from the houses of ordinary humans. The family's safety is threatened when the young boy of the house, Sho, sees Arietti while she and her father are borrowing in his room late one night. While Studio Ghibli films are renowned for their ability to create fantastical worlds, the secret world of Arietti engenders that same sense of wonder, scope, and adventure within its utterly normal setting. In addition to beautiful animation and excellent art design, the film has a lovely soundtrack that helps build on the sweet overall tone. With a blend of fantastic music and visuals, The Secret World of Arietti is a beautiful tale of blossoming friendship that perfectly balances between a calm, slice-of-life narrative and a fun adventure story. I am very proud of you. A lesser borrower would have panicked and run away. In Princess Mononoke, Prince Ashitaka finds himself poisoned after a demon attacks his village. In search of a cure, Ashitaka goes to Iron Town, where the people cut down the forest to fuel their manufacturing-based society. This disturbance of nature upsets the spirits of the forest, who go to war with the people of Iron Town. As the war threatens to wipe out both the nature spirits and the humans, Ashitaka and San, a human raised by spirits, must work together to achieve some form of peace. One of Ghibli's most well-known pictures, Princess Mononoke does an excellent job of blending an action-packed adventure with a nuanced environmental message. Kiki's delivery service follows a young witch named Kiki as she leaves her home and begins her training as a witch in a new town. Supported by her talking black cat, Gigi, she flies to a seaside town where she's hosted by a friendly baker and her husband. Quickly, Kiki finds her footing as a delivery girl and captures the attention of a boy named Tombo, who clamors for her attention. Kiki's Delivery Service is a magical tale with beautiful animation that makes the film's world feel warm and idyllic. All of the characters are expressive and relatable, especially Kiki, who struggles to fit into her new town and discover her unique talents. Starting as overconfident and slowly becoming isolated and unsure, Kiki is a brilliantly fleshed-out character that encourages viewers to overcome obstacles and fly high. 
Only yesterday strays away from Studio Ghibli conventions by targeting older viewers as opposed to teens and children's. The film explores the life of Taiko Okajima, an unmarried woman who takes a trip outside of Tokyo to the rural countryside. Outside the city, Taiko begins to feel nostalgia for her childhood and questions her life choices. Because of only yesterday's focus on an adult protagonist and her growing disillusionment with her life, the film offers a mature and reflective exploration of aging. Unlike many other Ghibli titles, there's no magical adventures. Instead, the story of Only Yesterday offers a slice-of-life experience that is grounded in reality. The film does an excellent job of fleshing out Taiko's memories and allows her to come to terms with who she is and what she wants out of life. Only Yesterday has a unique charm and relays a beautiful story of growth, reflection, and self-discovery. The scenery has come about by lucky accident, as people have struggled with nature to get what they needed to survive. With a distinct watercolor aesthetic, The Tale of Princess Kaguya is a beautifully animated movie based on a beloved Japanese folktale. In the film, a bamboo cutter finds a girl inside a bamboo shoot, whom he names Kaguya. Realizing that the girl is divine, he moves Kaguya to a mansion in the capital where she is trained to become a noble lady, despite Kaguya's growing discomfort. The Tale of the Princess Kaguya is without a doubt one of Studio Ghibli's most visually unique works. With distinct animation and style, the film is an incredible experience from start to finish. Arguably the most well-known of the Studio Ghibli films, Spirited Away follows Chihiro as she works to save her parents, who unknowingly trespassed into the world of spirits. As punishment for stealing food, Chihiro's parents are transformed into pigs by the powerful witch Yubaba. While working at a bathhouse to save her family, Chihiro learns determination, how to assert herself, and the value of compassion. Spirited Away is absolutely gorgeous, with masterful animation and heartfelt character designs. The fantastic visuals, accompanied by the film's colorful cast of creative, lovable characters, solidify Spirited Away as one of the most beloved animated films of all time. Taking place in Japan during World War II, Grave of the Fireflies follows Seita and Setsuko, siblings who manage to survive a firebombing that destroys their home. Thrust into the role of a parent, Seita must find a way to feed himself and his sister in the midst of rapidly shrinking supplies. Grave of the Fireflies is unique in that it reveals the main character's deaths at the beginning of the film. The remainder of the runtime is told through a flashback that contextualizes Seita's death and the hardships he was forced to endure. Ultimately, the film is a grim and heartbreaking experience that bears far more weight than any other Studio Ghibli movie. In the end, Seita and Setsuko are innocent children whose lives are destroyed by a war they had no say in. In a post-war society, no one can provide for these children, forcing Seita into an adult role he is largely unprepared to handle. While Grave of the Fireflies may prove too difficult for some viewers to endure, the film's message about war and tragedy is powerful. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite movies are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.